Student, today we are going to learn what is the relation between uh, it is the torque and the angular momentum. So, torque we know in a rotation motion, torque is equal to force into uh, it is a perpendicular distance. So, torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance. Angular momentum. So, angular momentum, I am going to take it as a linear momentum into radius. So, linear momentum is a product of mass into velocity into radius. So, angular momentum we got MVR. So, today we are going to learn relation between torque and angular momentum. This two relation we are going to discuss. Okay. See here, first thing. Uh, it is the first time I am going to derive with the angular uh, torque. Torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance. So, in circular motion, the perpendicular distance uh, is going to be the radius. If this is a force, this is a perpendicular distance. It is a radius. So, F times of R, it is a perpendicular distance. With sin theta, theta will be 90 degree. Okay. So, force is equal to mass into acceleration. It is going to be MAR is equal to torque. So, torque is equal to M uh, A R. This what we will get as a torque. Now, I am going to take it what is A with the rotation motion, uh, how it is related to the inner rotation motion. Uh, so, in circle, theta will be the angle. Ds, theta, d theta is the angle of uh, rotation. Ds is the displacement of linear motion and R is the radius. So, using of this three, I am writing the relation d theta is equal to Ds divided by R. So, imagine when the object is complete in a full circle. So, Ds will be 2 pi R divided by R. So, theta will be full complete circle is theta. R R get cancelled is going to be 2 pi is 360 degree. That means this equation is correct. So, theta d theta is equal to ds by r. Just proof only I wrote like this. So, d theta is equal to ds by r. So, just I am taken r this side. So, ds is equal to d theta times of r. So, we got like this equation. This equation I am differentiating with respect to the time. So, ds by dt with respect to the time is equal to d theta by dt into r. Displacement by time which is a velocity. Angular displacement by time, angular velocity into radius. Again differentiating with respect to time. So, again this equation with respect to time dv by dt is equal to d omega by dt uh, into radius. So, velocity by time is which is going to be taken as a alpha uh, acceleration velocity by time acceleration angular velocity by time is angular acceleration into radius so we got a is equal to alpha times of r so this equation already we have one equation for the torque torque is equal to m a r it is we'll take it as a equation 1 so i am substituting this equation 2 in a 1 so we'll get torque is equal to m alpha r into r so r r r square so m r square alpha is equal to torque so, MR square is called inertia. So, torque is inertia times of alpha. So, because of inertia, we are taken as inertia as a MR square. So, inertia I am taken as a MR square. I got torque is equal to I alpha. Now, we got what is the torque. The final value of torque is equal to I alpha. Now, we are learning the relation between torque and uh, angular momentum. Now, I am going to solve what is angular momentum. Angular momentum is equal to linear momentum times of radius. Linear momentum is a mass into velocity times of uh, this radius is equal to L. So, according to the circular motion, V is equal to omega R. V is equal to omega R. So, this equation, linear velocity is equal to angular velocity times of radius. This already we know. V is equal to omega R. So, M, uh, it is a omega R into R. R, R, R square. So, M R square into omega this is going to be inertia so l is equal to inertia times of omega so i got l is equal to l is equal to uh, inertia times of omega but this and this is not equal okay so torque is uh, i alpha and uh, angular momentum is omega times of inertia so we have we got this kind of equation so torque is equal to i alpha angular momentum is uh, uh, inertia times of omega omega by time so, angular velocity by time, we will get angular acceleration alpha. So, dl by dt is equal to differentiating the above equation with respect to the time. This equation with respect to the time, i times of d omega by dt. Angular velocity by time, we can take it as an angular acceleration. So, dl by dt is equal to i times of alpha. Here, alpha is representing angular acceleration. So, i times of alpha already we know it is a torque. So, dl by dt is equal to torque. 
rate of change of angular momentum is equal to tor so we got this relation is the dl by dt is equal to tor thank you for watching my channel if you like my channel please subscribe thank you everyone